What's up YouTube? In this video, we will learn how to use implicit weights and explicit weights in Selenium. Here I have made a sample script to open Microsoft Outlook.com. After opening, it will maximize the window. Then after 3 seconds of delay time, it will click on the sign in button then it will give a wrong username then click on next then it will give a wrong password then click on next then at the end uh, since the username and password are wrong it will throw an error right it will capture that error and prints it and at the end uh, the script will show the total time it took to complete the entire run let's run the script Yes, it opened Outlook.com. After 3 seconds, it will click on Sign In. After 3 seconds, it will provide the username. Then after 3 seconds, it will click on Next. Then it will provide the password. Then after 3 seconds, it will click on Sign In. Yes, we got the error message. Yes, the error message is printed over here you have tried to sign in too many times with an incorrect account or password and it took around 27.17 seconds to complete the entire run if you have any doubts creating scripts like this you can refer my previous videos the link is in the description and i think you can see the link on the screen here I have used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 into 3, 18, 18 seconds of fixed delay. Let's go through a scenario. After maximizing, our next step is to click on the sign in button. That is after maximizing this window, we will be clicking on this sign in button. And I have provided a delay of 3 seconds in between. On a fine day, the network was very slow and it took around maybe 5 seconds to load the screen, including this sign-in button. So what will happen? The script will fail, right? Because the script wait for only 3 seconds and after that, it will try to click on this sign-in button. Since the sign-in button is not there, it will fail. So what we will be doing next? We will be changing this 3 to 5, right? From the next run onwards, you realize that this sign in button is sometimes getting loaded within 1 second, sometimes within 3 seconds, sometimes within 5 seconds. So, if the sign in button gets loaded within 1 second, the remaining 4 seconds will be a loss to us, right? Suppose you have to go through this web page for around 100 times, then 100 into 4, that is 400 seconds you will be wasting around 400 seconds right and if the network is super busy and if it takes more than 5 seconds to load this page then there also the script will get failed so this fixed delay is not a very good mechanism to follow here selenium has two mechanisms those are explicit weights and implicit weights you can find the documentation of this in selenium-python.readthedocs.io If you use implicit weights, selenium will wait for a specific amount of time for that element to be available in the HTML code. The syntax you can use is this one driver.implicitly underscore wait and within parenthesis you can provide the maximum seconds the selenium should wait for that element. Let's copy this code. Uh, before that from selenium import web driver. I think that's already over there. Yes, it's over here. Then here we can paste it. Now let's remove all the fixed delays. Here selenium will click on the element if it is available or it will wait for a maximum time of 10 seconds checking the availability of that element. Let's run the script.
see how fast it is but i think it failed somewhere if you troubleshoot it you can find that it has reached till line number 15 that is uh, till this line what this line does is it will click on the sign in button after providing the password here we have to use explicit delay why because the element was actually present in the page but it was not clickable let me take you through an example so here i am searching for tripadvisor.com then over here i am searching dubai then i am clicking enter it redirected to this page if you hover the mouse over hotels vacation rentals restaurants you can see that all these are clickable but while loading the page it was not clickable i can show you that i am going to reload this page yes now i am hovering through that line but it was not clickable for maybe one second right i am again gonna uh, reload this page one two three i think for around more than two seconds these uh, hotels vacation rentals restaurants were not clickable but the element was there in the page that's why we were able to see this on the screen the same thing happened here as well the script tried to click on the sign in button but it was not clickable at that time let's go to the selenium documentation here we have explicit weights as per the documentation explicit weight will wait for a certain condition to occur before proceeding further in the code the conditions are listed over here there are around 17 condition those are like if there is a title if a title contains if the presence of an element is located visibility of an element is located like that it goes on if alert is present text is present invisibility of an element is present and the most important one element is clickable like that you can use any one of this but one thing you have to keep in mind is that the explicit weight is applicable only to an element that means you are tagging this explicit weight to an element let's try that for that we have to copy these two lines that is we have to import uh, two packages web driver weight and expected conditions i'm gonna copy and paste it over here now let's copy these two lines and paste it right above the click activity here the syntax is web driver weight within parenthesis driver comma maximum wait time dot until within parenthesis ec ec is imported over here that is from selenium dot web driver dot support import expected condition as ec uh, so easy dot element to be clickable then within parenthesis you are providing the locator of that element the locator of that element is this one right by xpath and the xpath i am pasting it over here if you want to change the property element to be clickable with any other you can use uh, other properties like uh, element attribute to include or element to be selected element if visible visibility of an element invisibility of an element like that you can use anything now let's test this yes it opened the web page clicked on sign in oops something happened uh, Yes, here there is only ELE. I forgot to complete it. Element, uh, it is to be clickable. Yes, we can test it once more. It opened the web page, clicked on sign in, provided the username and password, and clicked on sign in. 
here you can see it has scraped the error message that is you have tried to sign in too many times with an incorrect account or password and it took only 10.17 seconds to complete the entire run earlier with fixed delays it took around 27 seconds that means we saved around 17 seconds to complete this entire run by this way that is using implicit and explicit delays in real time projects you can save huge amount of time